Encouraging the kids outside to play is a great idea, but finding scribbles on the walls is terrible. We're going to create a space just for them that will keep the kids entertained for hours. These are all the tools and materials I'll need to build the outdoor toddler activity board. I've had my timbers and boards pre-cut at Bunnings. Because we're hanging this board outside, we want it to last. We've decided to use cement sheeting. We're going to attach some ply to the back of the cement sheeting. This will stop it from breaking. Some glue and soft sheet nails will do the job. Cement sheeting's heavy and this board is quite large, so it's a good idea to pull a friend in to give you a hand. You'll also be able to line it all up. Peter, can you give me a hand? We've divided this board in half. We've just marked it out so we don't get confused. Next, we need to prime our board. We need to prime all faces and sides. A handy tip when using a new brush is to soak it in some water. This means it will hold paint better. We're using water-based primer, which needs to be stirred thoroughly. Please make sure you read the manufacturer's instructions depending on what primer you're using. We're using a Lamsel Roller to hold paint better. This is because we're using water-based paint. Make sure you remove your tape before the paint dries. Wait till your paint's dry before you flip it over and paint the other side. Once your primer's dry, you need to apply your chalkboard paint. Remember you'll need two to three coats of this. Lay out your pre-cut timber to create a frame. Because we're dealing with two kids, we're gonna give each of them their own space by putting a divider down the middle. But you can create one big blackboard if you like. And now we can nail it or screw it back into place. Before we nail our divider in, we need to put the bottom part of our frame on. As you can see, I've attached a shelf to the base. This is with another piece of timber. This gives us somewhere to lean our canvases and place our chalk. Now that it's all put together, it's just a matter of choosing a place to put it. I'm gonna put it on a fence, low enough for the kids to reach, and nice and square. Remember what this space looked like before? Well, now we've gone from a drab wall to a creative hub. Now your budding artist has a fantastic, colourful space where they can be as creative as they like all day long. Buddy's wear, buddy's wear.